why I ended up getting this car at 21 years old. I was able to get this car at 21 years old. So one big thing when it comes to me is if I'm driving, I like comfort. And this car is definitely like one of the most comfy cars I've ever been in. It's a color that Mercedes calls polar white. It's got the AMG line interior. It's got this big front panel, which is like this huge screen in the front. It's got a nice steering wheel and then a heads up display, which is just right in front of the steering wheel as well. It's got a lot of crazy features. And that's one of the reasons I like this car. to get this car I was definitely getting hella nervous when I was purchasing it just because it's something where I'm not used to necessarily gifting myself and I know a lot of you guys out there watching this are probably like you know oh but I don't need this you know I don't need something for yourself but every once in a while you guys if you are grinding 24 7 putting in hours on hours on hours there is some times where you need to take a second and where you need to reassess yourself so most of the time when you see videos like this they're probably talking about manifestation or just basically writing something on your wall and hoping that it happens one day and just speaking it into existence. And although this is very, very important, you guys, it's not the most important thing to your success. The most important thing to your success is honestly the ability to make decisions. This has been time and time again, the thing that I've seen the most successful people who I've ever met, people worth hundreds of millions of dollars, be very, very good at, and the people who aren't doing so well in life be not very good at, you guys. Decision making is what makes you either do something or not do something. It's the process in which your brain decides to either take action towards something or not put any action towards it and just miss out on that. The next thing I want to talk about that I don't really hear talked about on YouTube too much and is one of the biggest reasons I was able to buy my dream car at 21 is having good judgment on the risk versus the reward on each action and everything that you do. You guys, the most successful people in the world and the people who are really at the top of companies, major executives of companies, people who own hundreds of millions of dollars of real estate and people who just really have power and influence in the world, they're all good at one thing and that thing is judging the risk versus reward reward and making sure they spend their time wisely. The reason risk versus reward and knowing the difference is very, very important and being able to correctly gauge this thing is really important just because it helps you decide what you spend your time on. If you're really good at understanding what type of risk is associated with what type of risk, freaking planes bro if you're really good at understanding the potential risk associated with certain decisions you make and also the potential reward and really good at understanding what you should hop on and what you shouldn't that's gonna help you out a lot in your journey because there's gonna be a lot of things that come up and a lot of things that happen to you a lot of things that are tempting whether it's girls whether it's partying whether it's a lot of stuff like that you guys so there's gonna be a lot of things that pop in your face as you start to succeed in business and as you start to get to the next level I want you guys to understand that just a couple years ago I was dreaming about being able to drive a car like this or being able to do the things that I do on a daily basis, primarily be able to have the amazing team that I have and be able to work on the businesses that I actually feel passionate about every single day, you guys. Although it's hard work, although I literally work 24 hours a day, I truly wouldn't want to be doing anything else. And I truly feel super passionate and super driven behind everything that I do. And I feel like that's really all you can ask for in this life. If you're doing something that you feel is purposeful, if you're doing something that you feel like has a direct impact on the world on a big scale and it's something you can feel passionate behind it's going to be something that makes you happy this car did not raise my happiness scale too much at all you guys it's just something that makes you realize that you are getting further and it kind of pushes you to keep going even harder because even though it's a materialistic item and materialistic items aren't really what matters or correlates to your happiness in the most direct way they are things that can help motivate you and hopping into something that's a super nice car every single morning definitely 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 motivates me to go harder another thing i want to talk about is the ability to manage your emotions and remain humble throughout all your success and throughout your whole entire journey you guys and being humble isn't something that you have to start doing once you're making money being humble is just a way of living and just a way that you present yourself in general whether you have zero dollars in your bank account or 10 million you could be humble in the way that you act and I truly believe it's a really important trait to have if you want to make long-lasting connections and if you honestly want to get looked at in a respectable way if you're somebody out here who's just trying to flex on the guy next to you and just trying to be better materialistically than anybody else around you you're just going to look like a dick in almost every single situation and it's just going to bring you literally not shit in life because what's going to happen is you're going to be constantly in this circle trying to one-up the person next to you and it's just going to lead you down this path of just trying to be better by somebody else based off what you're wearing or the things that you have and not actually who you are and the last thing i want to talk about you guys is the breaking point and what i mean by the breaking point is it's essentially a line an imaginary line that you could draw for each person and each person has a breaking point and what that is is the level of 
stress and level of stuff that they could take on before they just collapse and can't do anything anymore and just stop getting anything productive done and go into a feeling of being lost and a feeling of not feeling good. A lot of people get to this at some point. I'd say everybody in their life gets to their breaking point at one point or another. You need to understand that on your pursuit to success, on your pursuit to doing something different, on your pursuit to being bigger, whether that's making money with e-commerce, Shopify dropshipping, doing Amazon FBA, selling a social media marketing service, or being a artist or influencer, or YouTuber, whatever it is, you guys, you're going to go through a lot of pain, a lot of struggle, and a lot of time when nobody knows your name, nobody cares about you, nobody wants to do business with you, and nobody's there to give you any handouts at all. And the reason I'm saying this is because if you're prepared for it, it's not going to hurt you and slap you in the face when things like this happen. It's going to actually be something you're prepared for, and you're going to be ready to overcome it, and you're going to correctly deal with it because of that.